For parents with kids in CPS custody, it may be a lonely Christmas. CPS is backtracking from a move that left agencies without funding for supervised visits. A misunderstanding, CPS calls it, but parents and agencies are very much in the dark about when the visits can get going again. Nine in your sides, Craig Smith has been pushing for answers. He's live in the newsroom. Guy, late today, CPS mailed us the department will be communicating with vendors shortly regarding next steps. When we asked them just what they mean by shortly, we never heard back. With Christmas coming up, that's the sort of uncertainty grinding away at parents wondering when they'll be able to see their children again. We can't show her face. Stella is not her real name, but her emotion is real. What's it like when you look at the calendar and go, this would have been the day I saw my child? It makes me cry. It breaks my heart. Stella's daughter is in CPS custody. There are so many troubled families putting so much demand on the system. The agency CPS hired to supervise parent-child visits ran out of money. When CPS did not okay more funding, the agency, Aviva, had to lay off 32 workers, shut down supervised visits, and shut out Stella's visits with her daughter. What should people try to grasp about just what's in your mind and in your heart right now? I miss my daughter and, and I love her and I love my family and as the holidays get closer, especially right now, my heart breaks. After spending about two weeks saying nothing had changed in how it pays for visitation programs, now CPS says a misunderstanding kept visitation programs from getting the money to keep going. CPS says it will fix the problem, but it seems getting visits back before Christmas would be more than a Christmas gift, it would be a Christmas miracle. Aviva's director thinks it would probably be early or mid-January. Casa de los Niños had enough budget to keep visits going until the new money arrives. Have they given you a reading as to when this, this system will crank back up again really for all providers? Um, in the next couple weeks is what we were told, and I think at this point, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I don't, so I think we're all kind of waiting to hear what our new capacity is. I mean, I don't think it'll be what it was, but it's not going to be what, it, what we thought it was going to be, which was nothing. Now, juvenile court judges have been concerned because these visits happen under their court orders, and they haven't been happening. They've been meeting with CPS, court administrators, and lawyers who handle child welfare cases, trying to get the visitations on track again. They're also in the dark about when visitations will be back to normal. Craig, thank you.